Hey guys, this is Jerry Mateo with Music Marketing TV, and welcome back to video four of Sound It 8 Pro. Today, we're going to be taking a look at a lot of the stock effects and even showing you guys how you can use third party effects. Let's start off by just clicking here, and I'll open up the window, and we'll see that we have our eight band equalizer, which is the stock parametric EQ. If we click here, we can see that we have Internet Co. LTD. That is where all of our stock plugins will be. We have a two band, six band, and eight band equalizer. I prefer the eight band. We also have a really cool advanced pitch shifter, which allows you to control the pitch shift and the format shift. You have a auto pan, which basically will let you pan automatically. You have a bit crusher for destroying your sounds. You have a center cancel, which does as it states, it will cancel the center image. You have a really cool chorus plugin, compressor gate, which is actually a very, very useful tool that I really like to use. Normal compressor, a de for getting rid of excessive sibilance in a lot of tracks a delay, a dimension, which is basically a dimension D style chorus, which is kind of the big brother of the normal chorus. We have an enhancer, which is just after the distortion. The enhancer is basically the advanced version of that. It has the ability to choose the frequency. You can have a low boost if you want. You can have the depth control and the mix. We have an expander. So if you want to do any type of expansion or gating, we have a filter that has high and low pass. We have FREX, which basically allows you to have an input gain, a pan, an output gain, and a pan. You also have this little square button, which will allow you to kind of control the stereo width of your reverbs and the frequency response to which it will be. You have two compressors and two reverbs. After that, we have a very, very useful graphic EQ, which I personally really like using. We also have an impulse response loading reverb, which is great for really realistic sounds. We have a linear phase EQ, a very, very nice linear phase multiband compressor, a loudness meter, which has true peaks, dynamic range in LUFs, a integrated short-term and momentary loudness section too. We have a sonic maximizer for gaining volume and cutting some of those peaks, a multiband delay, a modulating delay, which is really, really cool because it has lots of these vintage kind of sounds to it, a mid-side EQ, which is two three-band EQs, one for the mid, one for the side. Great for mastering songs that have a little bit of an imbalance. You have a multi-compressor, which is basically a multi-band compressor. A noise gate, a normal pitch shifter, which just has pitch shifting and quality. We have a reverb, and we have a reverb 2, which is basically a very, very nice algorithmic reverb with lots of little presets on it. We have an RMS compressor for those slower, more natural sounding compression moves. A stereo delay with both left and right controls, and a high and low pass filter. You can link these. You can even do milliseconds, BPM, or host syncing. You have a stereo enhancer, which allows you to either widen something out or even make something mono sound stereo. And last but not least, you have a tape delay with six different delays. You can control how long they are, and you can control everything from gain, pan, and the EQ types. Now what I want to do is I want to actually show you guys what we can do with just the stock plugins. I'm going to turn all these off. We're going to go to the beginning of the song, and I'm going to show you guys what it sounds like without anything. Cool, so now we got a pretty good idea. It's just a clean sounding acoustic guitar. We'll turn on all the effects, back this up, and then here we go. And that sounds a lot more lively. Now, a really cool thing is if I want to, I can just click here and choose a plugin from my third party list. Now we have a lot of things, 3X, which basically means those are VST3s, and the normal ones are just the normal VST2s. Cool, and it's as easy as that. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned for our next video in the series. This is Jerry Mate with Music Marketing TV, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.